YouTubers, it's Mark from Truth Seeker. And for the last couple of people that don't buy into my theory of the fake sand and them cutting it in, just look at this. This is supposed to be sand. Okay, here we are back here. All right, I think this is like in Sol 590. Whatever it is, don't even matter anymore because these pictures are just useless. Just a bunch of lies and don't even matter what numbers they put on them. Who even knows when they were made or just trust me on that. All right, look at this. You see how it's chopped? This goes down, way down, way down. These are not slabs, okay? You see, all I gotta do is take the magic wand tool and click on this color. God knows what color's under there, but click on that and then I could fill it with anything. And this is just NASA generic. It's basically made up. And then the color, they click, they pick the top of these rocks and then they fill it up with that. You see what it is? And then they just make it opaque. That's all they're doing. It's nothing fancy. Do you see the edge of this? Do you see how it's chopped in? Now, some would say that there's all types of carvings in this. Some would say that's a face. Some would say these are symbols. And you know what? I might even buy into that. It does look strange to me. Now, this is a picture in Photoshop that I worked on a little bit. But, like I always say, I do nothing, absolutely nothing to tamper with the original picture. All I'm doing is twitching color up and down, gamma, you know, a couple other little things like that. But I am doing, I am not adding this structure. I am not adding anything to these original pictures. I give you every link to every video I do, and the description is the link. 99.9% .9 of my viewers know that. I get a couple of people that must work for NASA. There's been probably now, I'm on probably about 35, 40 people that I had to, you know, erase their comments. But that's almost out of 80,000 people in about a month and a half. So I'm doing something right. And I know my fans and my subs appreciate my hard work. I'm sticking my neck out. You know, it, this is no joke. People have been killed for less in this government, so. And the real people that watch this stuff understand that. You could just disappear in this country. So, I'm not gonna get into all of that, but I've had conversations and email conversations with a couple of people that, uh, you know, are amazed that I, I am being that aggressive. They're not offended in any way, but they're just worried about me. And uh, you know what? I've had enough. I've looked at these pictures for God knows how long. And I kept my mouth shut and I watched guys do videos and they're pulling anom anomalies out, but they were missing the big picture. And there's about four or five guys out there that are doing some really good work and they're getting it. They got it. A lot of people were missing the big picture. Do you see what's under this rock? This is not a rock. See, this is some type of maybe grave marker. I figure it to be maybe a couple inches thick. But do you see what's behind it? Do you see these things? I can easily fill this in. Easily. I mean, do you see how this doesn't even look like sand? I know it's hard to accept, and I know I sound like a broken record, I keep going over this, but there's a lot of new people coming on board, and I just want them to understand what I mean about black smudges, white smudges, fake sand, you know, it's a lot to take in. Like, do you see this? This is a, this is a carving of some sort, and then they just blur it out. Do you see this here, this black? This is just black. Do you see it? It's just a black blob. 
why would that be shaded black when the front of this rock is lit? You have to ask yourself that. You have to. You have to. In a court of law, you would have to ask yourself that. How could the front of this be lit and this is black? And you actually see something behind it. There's some structure behind it. The pictures are getting worse and worse as we're getting closer. Now, is NASA just releasing this stuff slowly? Could be. Is their computer software not picking it up? Could be. Could there be one guy in the editing room that's saying, hey, listen, these people deserve to see this? Could be. Could be a lot of things. Well, one thing it's not is fake. This is what is real if we are even on Mars. That's a big if. It would kill me if I found out we weren't, but now look at this thing. Now in the original picture, you could see the structure. I had to bring this part out that they blurred because they just went right over it. Now it looks like it's got two eyes, a mouth, got some type of arm coming out there's something hanging off of it as you can see there's a shadow underneath it there's a lot of blurring over here in filler and there's a lot of blurring and filler it just cuts it right off here but this is a very strange structure or a statue very strange you see how this stuff looks like it's just floating <laughs> I mean, it's because it, it's buried. You see this? Now look, there's pixels missing, number one. Number two, it's right at the edge of the photo. Number three, look at it. This is some type of structure that's hidden under this blur. And I'm not doing anything, I'm not doing anything to manipulate what's here. I'm just enhancing it, you know, with color, contrast, that's all. Gamma. And a couple of little things, but nothing, nothing crazy. Nothing that you can't do at home or figure out how to do at home. You see, look at this. There's like some type of carvings underneath here. Do you see this? This looks like an O, part of maybe a K. You know, who knows what their letters look like. But this is a wall. This is a huge wall. Do you see what's part of it that they missed? See, the software can't pick it up, all of it. It picks up certain colors, and then it'll add. It's just like a cut tool. When you uh, crop a photo, that's all they're doing. They're taking this magic wand and picking a certain, a certain couple of colors, and then they just fill in this fake background. That's all it is. And what the rover's doing, the pictures that the rover's sending down, there's, I believe, there's some type of lens that they're putting over some of the pictures. That is, that's prepping these pictures for manipulation. It's adding some type of color that makes it easier for them to just pick out these certain parts and just fill them. Because it's not a red planet. I'm sorry, folks. Uh, I'm really sorry. I don't want to break anybody's heart. But it looks damn close probably to Earth. There's running water, there's trees. I'm pretty damn sure of that. If there's ice on the polar ice on the polar caps, Trust me, there's, there's, there's running water. I just did a video on Mercury, and I got a picture from, uh, I can't use his name, but if you watch the videos, I let out some information about the guy. But uh, it's just amazing. There's actually mining structures, light, electricity on Mercury. So, whatever they've been feeding us, NASA, there's a whole nother world out there, baby. A whole nother world. This universe is teeming with life. We're nothing. We're, we're like ants, and it's hard to accept, but I'm, I'm Catholic, and with a little Christian kind of thrown in it, you know what I mean? And I believe that my Lord Jesus Christ, my Savior, created all of this.
every bit of it, every bit of the universe. That's just what I believe. Every bit of it. There's nothing wrong with that. And it doesn't change because I may see a gray alien on Mars with some Nordic looking person. It doesn't change any of that for me. It actually makes me happy. It makes me happy to see that we're, so, we're part of something bigger. That my Lord Jesus Christ created the universe. Not just so I have little lights in the sky to look up that twinkle. They're not little night lights for me. You know, it's really selfish to think we're the only thing out there. And that's what NASA wants you to believe. Now look at this black blob. You see this nonsense? Now here's a shadow underneath this structure. You see this black blob? Now you gotta ask yourself, why would that be black when this is lit? And do you see how they cut half of this statue off? It's just gone. Because that, that nonsense that they had cut it off. But you gotta ask yourself, why would this be black, all of it? Why? Because look what they're hiding. That's that's not just some rock. You could see. Look at the look at look at how it's cut in. Look at the edges. You could see what's almost underneath it. Watch this. You see what I'm talking about? these edge it just added just added smoke and mirrors folks that's all it is there ain't no magic to this do you see what's under there I mean for the doubters am I gonna have to bring you to my house and put it on a 65 inch high definition TV I mean I know there's just a couple of you doubters left and I'm getting new people every day and the word spreading and it's a little scary to me. I, I just didn't expect this channel to take off like this. It's a little overwhelming. The emails, I mean, I'm trying to keep up with, you know, uh, replying to comments and stuff. And please, I'm, I'm not avoiding you. I'm not, uh, not replying to you. Guys, I'm putting six to ten hours a day into this stuff. You understand? And I know my real fans and viewers understand that. I'm not, you know, when somebody leaves a comment, I'm just flabbergasted. When I see a share, I mean, I hate this Google Plus thing. I don't know, it's just, I don't know, I can't get it. But I'll, I'll learn how to use it. Now look at this thing. See, this looks like it has a spout. Just like that machinery I found the other night. Do you see the spout on that thing? I have a, well, he says he's a scientist, sent me an email on that machinery that I found with the spout, and he says it looks like it's shooting the laser into the rocks, and he's convinced that's how they make these carvings, that they have these uh, machines that they just put out, and they're shooting lasers into these rocks, and they're computer controlled, just as we, you know, have 3D printers and stuff. That's how they carve all these rocks out. They're not done by... I mean, some of these carvings are amazing. These statues are just unbelievable how smooth they look. I mean, look at this strange stuff. I mean, these carvings are just amazing, but he's convinced that that's some type of laser with cameras and stuff, and, you know, to, I guess to hold the location and the grids and stuff to... I guess carvings are very important to this, this, this civilization. Maybe how money is, you know, are, you know, we're like rats every day going out to get the cheese, you know, mice going to get the cheese with money. <coughs> Excuse me. Maybe to them, carvings are, you know, what shows your status. I, I don't, I have no clue. Or we could be in a, Basically, maybe like a where they make tombstones. I mean, look at look at these rocks that are above here. I mean, look at that. Look at this wall down here. You're not going to tell me that this wall wasn't made by human hands or alien hands. 
Look at these statues. Do you see this nonsense blurted? Look at what they did to this. It almost looks like a gorilla head. Do you see what they did to the front here? You could see the two eyes still. I mean, you'd have to be blind not to see the two eyes. You see how it's got this white stuff? I mean, that's carvings in it, but they just blurred it. That's all they did. You see how intricate this thing is? Watch, it'll focus. Look at that. Just look at it. You can see the two eyes, the nose, the mouth. I mean, they left, NASA left this in here for some reason. I, it's beyond me. The brutal job that they're doing on these pictures, honestly, my little sister can do better. My 20-year-old sister used to do better. I mean, she's older now, but when she was 20, she was big into the Photoshop stuff. And when she was about 20, maybe 19, in uh, yeah, but 18 to 20, she really got into messing around with Photoshop. And back then, it wasn't that great. She's in her 30s now, but the stuff she would do with pictures. She used to show me pictures, and she'd be like, what's that? Like, what, are you, what are you talking about? And she'd be like, oh, that's our house. You know, she used to do just crazy stuff. I mean, it's, I just don't understand. I mean, look at this thing here. It looks like a box with a lock in the center. I have a video, you gotta go back and search. There's a trunk, clear cut wooden trunk with a latch, clear cut with all types of carvings and stuff in front of it. It looks like a grave site. I mean, how could you look at this and tell me that this is not made by somebody? So, the naysayers and debunkers. I don't get too many debunkers. Is there ain't much to debate? And yeah, like 15, 16 year olds that just like to see nasty words on the screen, but 99.9% .9 of you guys are getting it, and I love that. I just need to get you excited. You got to start emailing NASA. And let them know you think you've had enough. It's not, you can accept the truth. It's not a big deal. Life is going to go on. Society's not going to break down. Countries are not going to collapse. Believe me, people are going to go to work the next morning. They may be around the cooler talking about it, but they're going to go to work the next morning. That's all, that's all I want, and I'll fade away. I, all I want is NASA to come out and say, listen, we found something on Mars. We're investigating it, and we'll keep you updated. That's all I want, and I'll go away. Look at this. It looks like a pathway. Look at this weird thing. It looks like it's got some type of bucket or something hanging off of it. You can see the shadow. I showed you that before. You see the head? Looks like there's something around its neck. I mean, these, I believe, are statues. We do have video proof of live people on Mars in these little cities. I don't, I don't mean little cities, but towns. They're just the same size as us. All NASA is doing with that is taking the picture from far away and cropping it. That's all they're doing. These cameras on here, one of the NASA big shots said right on TV, we could see a table from space. So, look at this thing. It actually looks like it's lit up on the top. I have pictures of fire. Looks like laser shooting. You see this blur? What the hell? What is it even doing there? What artistic value? Say if you were a Photoshop guy, what artistic value would that even have? I mean, do you see this stuff? To me, it's beautiful. I mean, I love, I love carvings. This is right up my alley. If this stuff was on Earth, I would be just excited about it. Just as excited. Now, if it wasn't covered up with all this fake stuff, man, I'd be one happy dude. But, that's okay. I gotta pick through this nonsense. I've been doing it for a long time. Long time I've been playing with these pictures in the background, keeping my mouth shut. 
there's a couple people that knew me that said, "Listen, you got to, you got to say something." I mean, they seen the stuff I was showing them. You know, I used to keep saying, "Nah, man, nah, I just want to keep this to myself. If I let it out, then they'll know, and the pictures are going to get worse." And I just want to do my little research in the background, nice and quiet. Now look at this thing they blurred. Look at these. Look at this thing. Now just picture without this sand, this nonsense here. Look at this thing up here. It don't, it's shimmering. You see this fake sand? You can actually see through it. And then you see that fake blob they put there. Look at it. You can actually see the ridges from the pen where they just they just blob it in. But look at this. There's one window, another window. Look at this. This looks like the cab of a truck. I think that would be the exhaust. And there it goes back. There's looks just picture that maybe like some type of trailer pulled behind it. Now picture all of this stuff out of here. You see like rivets that are popping through. They can't hide it all. Tell me that don't look like a semi. With some type of uh, trailer on the back of it. See? This is all fake. All of this. You see? There's something here too. There's another one that they're they're blocking. See all this stuff they put in front of it? It's all fake. All smoke and mirrors, guys. You can see there's all types of stuff behind it. All types of stuff are hidden here. You can't tell me that you look at this. And you can't see an exhaust stack coming up there. Maybe the top reefer part. And then some type of trailer coming back here. See the window? There's another one. And then there's some silver thing right behind it. See what I mean with the scale? You just have no idea. They're piecing pictures together. Let's see if I can get behind that a little more. Oh uh, yeah, see how that shows up? Now you see what I'm talking about? You see how it really pops? See how that looks like there's a, a white hose coming out into this thing? Trust me guys, there's a whole unit back there, whether it's a tractor trailer, a habitat, a building. You see that white thing coming out? It looks like a hose of some sort. See the silver thing back there? Don't pay attention to this stuff, this is all created. There, You could see there's stuff behind this. I'm getting through some of it. You see how this stuff's popping? You see the edges of this, where they just added it? just layers and layers of junk they're adding. See this square? This white thing underneath? It didn't get that. There's part of it here that it just didn't blur. They, had, they went at this a couple of times. This area here they hit a couple of times. That's for sure. They really went to town on that area. There's a lot going on there. Whether this picture is maybe two pieces I think this picture can even be maybe three pieces. But it's hard for me to show that. I mean, you got to figure I would be standing back here way, way off in a ridge. Way off. I mean, way back. You see this wall? You can see how these are just blocks cut in. This is a statue when I come up on it. This is, a lot of this is all fake, this covering. Back here, it's just all blurred in. Do you see how this could be a road? This stuff could be gigantic. Look at this strange thing. I mean, just look at this. What sense does that make to you? Look at this, how they blurred all of this up here. See this, they added? You see how this comes up? And I showed you, it's got like a spout, like that thing I found the other night coming out of it. And it looks like it's shooting something right out of it. You see how it's coming out? 
You see? What's coming out of it? There is something coming out of that blurred spout. Whether it's water. That's how they get water. I have no clue. But you could see clear as day that that's a pipe coming up. I don't have rocks like that at my house. And I, I sure as hell don't have to block all my rocks out. I mean, you see this, what they did here? There's all types of stuff underneath this. You see this? How it's shooting something out. I know you guys get it, but I get a little excited. I'm sorry. Look at this thing. They put some black on it and just cover it right up. Look at this thing hidden in the corner. And I love the comments on what people think this stuff is. I'm trying to figure it out. I get that you're seeing it, which is great. Which is great. Because number one, it shows your intelligence. They think we're all a bunch of dumb sheep out here. Let's keep the sheep quiet. Let's keep the herd quiet. We don't want nobody rattling, rattling the cage, baby. Well, sorry guys. All right, guys. Just remember, when you look at a NASA photo, nothing is what it is. Nothing is what it seems. It's all blurred reality. You see what I'm talking about? How these are buildings underneath here, or some type of trailer? You see the pipe going in? My rocks don't look like that, baby. No. And like I keep saying, I don't have to blur my pictures out that I take. I just took some pictures with my dog up at the mountain. I didn't. There was nothing I had to blur out. Look at this strange product. They had to blur this whole thing. Look at this thing. There's all type of machinery or something up on that thing. See how they put this black blob in front of it? And under here? And here they put some. It just throws the whole perception of it off. It doesn't even look like a 3D item anymore when you're looking at this picture from back here. This is what people see. There, I'll show you. This is what NASA wants you to see. People look at this picture. Oh, wow, that looks cool. All right, next picture. Wow, that looks really cool. Next picture. Do you see the angle that this picture is taken at? You explain to me how this ain't a drone. All these pictures are almost at the same angle. This is looking down from a hell of a distance. You see these structures? And then all of this is blurred here. All of it. All of this. They add all this fake... See this hazing? Yeah. My rocks don't look like that. This is all added. And this is easy to do. Well, it's pretty easy to cover a lot of that. See how it just comes into this thing and starts covering it up? And it's funny how there's always sand on top of the good things. But like the top of these, the stuff that really is high up doesn't get the sand on it. But it's funny, the angle of these pictures. This could easily be satellite with our technology, drone. But unless our rover's always up on a huge high cliff. Nah, I'm not buying it. And neither should you. There's a lot going on in these pictures. Nothing is what it seems. Alright guys, I'm working on a couple other things, just keep subbing, sharing it, liking, get your friends to sub, so we can all, all you guys stay updated. Alright guys, True Seekers out.